You see, even today, everyone is avoiding to talk about being fired. Why is there still so much stigma associated with getting fired? And how come the firing is considered shameful for an employee, but not for a company? Companies fire thousands of employees daily, and most of the times they are not even questioned about it. The mindset of this employee was fired because they didn't work well is so past century. While getting fired is nothing to be ashamed of, there are certain signs that can give you hints that you could potentially be fired. And if you pay attention to these signs ahead of time, you might even be able to do something about it. I'm Marat from Emotion, and after years of experience in corporate HR and in executive search, I'd like to share with you seven exact signs indicating that you could potentially be fired. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, then definitely hit the subscribe and enable the notification bell so you won't miss out my weekly professional growth content. Also, thumb up this video if you feel it's been useful. Let's jump right into the first sign, suggesting that you might have reached the end of your journey at your current company. It's when your boss does not like you and is not pleased with your work. This is definitely the most common sign of getting fired. The relationship with your manager is crucial at any position and at any company you will be working for. This is usually the first thing you are hired for, when the potential manager approves of your candidacy. And it is the first thing which influences on terminating your connection with the company when the relationship with your boss is not working out. And you might have tried to change or to improve it, but it only becomes worse and worse. Maybe you used to get along, but right now it's completely the opposite. Your boss starts micromanaging you. Every little detail you do is on a watch list. Whenever something goes wrong, it is immediately being turned into a blame game, being blown out of proportion and thrown into your face as a lack in your performance and as a lack in your professionalism. Your boss is not just displeased with your performance, but also sends you signal with their body language. You feel they are not happy to see you and that you are not welcome in the department. This means sooner than later you are going to get fired. So don't wait for too long. This is actually the right time to polish your resume and to start applying for jobs. The second sign is when you are left out of the loop and get removed from certain projects. This is definitely connected to the sign number one. When it's suddenly hard to access important data that would help you perform well in your current job. When you are not invited to important meetings or not included on key emails. This means that the termination is coming. One day you are the key person on the project and then suddenly you are replaced with little explanation or even worse, an explanation that you are not managing this project well. When an employer starts reassigning your work to others without giving you a clear reason, this could very much be a sign that the department is preparing for your departure. You might actually want to ask in a positive and a constructive way for details and specifics explaining why you are being removed from these projects. Usually their unclear explanation would make the potential termination clear to you. Number three, when the manager that hired you leaves the company. If your manager is getting replaced by another individual, many changes will occur for sure. One of them would be the replacement of some employees with other employees that this new manager trusts. Even if you have a long history with the company, your position might be in danger. Especially if this new person shows no interest in talking to you, in assigning responsibilities or calling you to meetings. Some new bosses feel they can't be bothered by building a relationship with those who were hired by previous management. If you are being ignored like that, it is definitely the time to prepare for your exit. 
sign number four, when you are asked to create a job description for your position, listing everything you do and how much time it takes. If the company asks you to do this, it's usually to know exactly what you do. So once you are gone, they may split your duties among the rest to keep the business going. Or there is a replacement planned and they want to get a clear and an updated job description of your role. This might also mean that you are being groomed for a more senior position. Once you are promoted, it's only natural to replace you with someone else. But you can usually tell which one is the case. Now, number five is when the new person, someone with a similar skill set, joins your department. A highly telling sign that you are about to be replaced is when your company or team just hired someone with your skill set. They might even come with a request that you onboard and train them with instructions that seem very familiar to your day-to-day -day role. Again, this might also mean possibly being promoted. So think about it for a second. If you've been doing great at your appraisals and everything is going well at your job, then this sign should not apply and should not worry you. In fact, you might be hearing some good news related to your promotion. But if things are not at their best in your current job, if you've also experienced some of the other signs mentioned here, then you are about to be let go. When the company is not doing well or is being transformed, if you find out that your company suffers sales, clients or cash loss, if it gets negative press or bad reputation caused by something linked to the company, those things usually translate into reduction of the staff. Sometimes your company doesn't need to be doing badly for big changes to happen. An acquisition or merge with another company could affect you just as much. This is especially relevant when a major event like that happens and nobody tells you anything at all. This means that once the structural transformation starts, the changes in the team will arrive shortly after. Sign number seven, when you are put on a performance improvement plan. This is definitely not an ideal thing. Getting placed on a performance improvement plan PIP in most organizations mean that you are failing short to a point that your boss feels the need to formally document this situation. Now, this isn't the end of the world if your manager or supervisor is supportive through this tough time. But being placed on a plan is a red flag. You can always tell the difference between we really want you to improve and we hope you get frustrated and demoralized that you quit in any case, it is a good idea to start working on your exit strategy. There are also times when employees can't access the company emails or even the company building. This means you've already gotten fired and there is a very little you can do about it. While such practice is extremely unprofessional from the employer's side, low quality employers still keep doing this. Remember, one can be a brilliant employee and still get fired. This doesn't define you as a professional. Sometimes things just don't work the way we expect and the employee can't take all the blame for it. If you've experienced the signs mentioned above, my advice, update your resume and look for a job while you are still employed. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please thumb it up and share it with whoever you think it might be beneficial to. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and see you in my next video on what to do after getting fired.